problem four. So this we will be experiencing some um, next operations in here. And this will be mo mostly using operation um, functions we have learned. And in case you weren't here for this or you don't know if or you don't know this equation yet, um, just to keep in mind, a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared, each a and b representing one number. And remember, you can always go the other direction as well. So that's just a friendly um, equation to keep in mind. Okay, I'm going to make that a bit smaller. Calculate, and there's a huge um, e um, equation you want to find, figure out right now. So we see there are brackets, and there are addition and subtraction, well, no addition, but subtraction, multiplication, division, and their parentheses in back brackets. So we first do the parentheses. Um, so we still have this 2007. And in here, we have 8.5 times 8.5 minus 1.5 times 1.5. Well, this is basically 8.5 squared, and this is kind of 1.5 squared. And almost immediately, we can relate to this equation, very important equation, equation right here. And we know that this is equal to a squared. Um, not a squared. This is, this is, this already is a squared minus b squared. As I said, you could also go from right to left. So this is now 8.5 plus 1.5 times 8.5 minus 1.5. That divided by 10, and outside the brackets we have 8.5, oops, and over here we have divided by 160 minus 0 0.3. So this we get is 8.5, well, 8.5 plus 1.5 is 10. And we times 10 to 7. So 10 times 7 equals 70. 70 divided by this 10 equals 7. So it's 2007 minus 7, which is 2000. Then we're going to be dividing 160. Minus 0 0.3, and in the end, we get 12.2. So, the main, the, the key to this problem is just figuring out the 8.5 times 8.5 minus 1.5 times 1.5. It's a lot of work to actually stack them and do all that math. Of course, it's good practice, but it's usually better to really think about the equations we know. And this is a very, very important equation, everyone should pay attention. Remember, you can always go from right to left as well. So thank you for watching Through Inquisitive Kids and see you next time.